Hey, before we jump into the video, I just want to let you guys know that on the 5th of September Australian time, my birthday, I'm going to be doing a Twitch subathon. More details to come. Keep an eye on my social medias to find out what time it's going to be starting, but I'm going to be live all day. Enjoy the video. Ben, so I, I, I did something on my Instagram yesterday. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, well, uh, well, I, I, I said to my Instagram, I said, hey, why don't you f send me your deepest, darkest secrets? That 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 wouldn't go wrong at all. No, no. It's, it's, how could that go wrong? It's perfect. Um, yeah. And for some reason, uh, people are comfortable, you know, telling someone, some stranger on the internet, their deepest darkest secrets. Well, yeah, I, it's the it's the famous uh, paradox. Yeah, uh, it, it's okay telling famous people that. And I don't know if they thought that it was anonymous. <laughs> Because if I if I repost it on my story, then it becomes anonymous. But like, I don't know if they know that I can see who was saying it. Wait, so that means you saw the one I sent you? You know what I? That's how I replied this to is, you. Uh, this is yeah. this is this is not good. Yeah, it's, you know, it's... I, might, I said something pretty dark. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, hello YouTube. I thought this would be a fun video to go through my things. Honestly, if I'm being brutally honest with you, the reason why I asked uh, my Instagram to show me their uh, deepest, darkest secrets is because when... Blackmail. Uh, no, it's because when you post on Instagram uh, on your story and you post something that, you know, people can interact with and it has like a question box or something, when people interact with it, Instagram's more likely to promote it. Therefore, it means that your story gets more views. And I was literally just doing it to pad out my stats so that I could send them to a company <laughs> and it looks good. Analytics. I it's get it. It's all for the analytics, baby. But then good I was like, brain. you know what? This is, this is kind of funny. This is kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> and I was thinking, you know, if, if I thought it would be a fun video. Um, and I thought, you know, if my audience likes it, maybe like once a week or something, we can just ask a dumb question to my Instagram and see the responses. Oh, there's so many possibilities. Yeah, uh, exactly. There's so many. I mean, yeah. I'm looking at this one right now, and already I, I'm just I'm I know, ready. I know. People, I'm ready. People said some crazy shit. People are dark. There's, there's a lot of sex things as well, as I'm sure you could imagine. Yeah. We're, uh, we're here for that. Yeah. So uh, this is Ben, uh, aka Forbesy. He's, he's hey one guys. of my good friends. He's a Twitch streamer. And uh, yeah, he will be in the description if you want to check him out. Um, but yeah, let, let's just jump right into it. Um, <laughs> as you can see, down the bottom, we have my phone. Uh, I, uh, the reason it's just these random like uh, words is because I obviously cropped out the people's names and their Instagram profile pictures and all that stuff because, uh, you know, I don't think they want that shit being exposed. <laughs> But um, this person... That, that'll be next week. That'll be next week. <laughs> yeah, when we expose all my audience. Uh, <laughs> th this person pretended to be robbed for attention. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> fucked up, dude. Although, you know, I feel like people do worse shit for attention. People have done worse shit. I mean, yeah. it, I, it's I mean, pretty much just high school, right? Like the whole, yeah. I'm depressed, give me attention. Exactly. And I mean, what is... <laughs> who's it really hurting? Yeah. Who's it really hurting saying that you got robbed? Unless no you one. say that you got robbed by a specific person, in which case it's and hurting them. And then they them. go to jail and then, yeah. you know, and that you ruin their life. But you'll probably get more attention then. So. Yeah, exactly. Big but brain. Other than that, it's not really hurting anyone, is it? Next one. Exactly. I mean, it's just interesting seeing how people respond to what is your deepest, darkest secret. This one says, I fucked my girlfriend's sister and best friend at a party and told her I was out with the boys. Now this one's a bit more. This fun is the, than the last sex one. stuff you're talking about. Oh yeah, there, there's a lot of this, um, and there's there's like a weird um, like common occurrence that uh, I've come across in these that I just had no idea was happening so frequently. Um, but anyway, I fucked my girlfriend's sister. Okay, so this, you know, first start, I fucked my girlfriend's sister. Bit mean. Yep. Bit bit mean, guys. Come on. What are you doing? Fucking your girlfriend's sister. Second of all, fucked my girlfriend's sister and best friend. Now, here's where the yep. questions start. Here's where I wish <laughs> people could elaborate. Because I'm like, did you fuck the sister and the best friend at the same time? Or did you fuck the sister and then the best friend? No, I, th I definitely think you'd be uh, you'd be saying that. I think that's something to be proud of. If it's separately, it's, it's you know, that's just padding stats. Yeah. Uh, yeah I think Because it kind of seems like they, they just went out of their way 
to try and <laughs> do the worst thing they could do to their girlfriend. Yeah, well, at first I was actually even just trying to read the sentence because there's a lot of different people going on. Like you got the girlfriend, sister, the best friend. Yeah. Uh, and the boys. Out with the boys. Yeah. You know? yeah. I think the biggest problem here is that he's dogging the boys. Exactly. He's dogging he said the he's boys. He's going to be out with them and he wasn't out with them. Yeah. So, so this is the problem. I think you, they might be know, hurt. You guys can go out and fuck your girlfriend's sister and their best friend. And best friend. Yeah. But don't bring the boys into it. All right. If you're don't, gonna bring the boys into the it, boys. make sure you're actually hanging out with them. All right, you sick fucks. Yeah. All right, next Twisted. one. Okay, so <laughs> this guy said got high at a fam thing. So they were at a yep. family gathering, Ben. I'm gonna set the scene for you. Family gathering. They're a bit bored. Yep. You know? They're there. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, you know, you know, my, my granddad's over there. He's gonna want to talk to me later. He's a bit he's, he's a got bit a sad. lovely voice, by the way. Oh, th thank you. Um, <laughs> you know, he's at this family gathering, he's sitting in the corner, he's a bit upset, probably got his arms crossed, sulking. Uh, and then he goes, you know what I could do? Maybe maybe if I just go get high, then uh, it'll actually be fun. So what yep. they did, they uh, they talked to their super religious cousin into hanging out with them while they were smoking the weed, doing the weed. And you know what the super religious cousin did, Ben? You won't believe it. What happened? The super religious cousin left priest school for weed. Now, Wait, I want you know, on, I want to make it clear. Priest, there's a priest school? Yeah, and when you say priest school, it sounds a lot like preschool. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, what is priest school? Exactly. And why can't you get high as fuck there? A priest not allowed to smoke weed? Wouldn't, wouldn't I mean, they? Wouldn't they priests already be kind into of smoking sex, weed? Right? Hang on a sec. Damn dog ruined my 20 seconds of fame. Damn dog. <laughs> Damn dog. Yeah, but I mean, I would have thought that weed, you know, being God's creation, priests would be so into it. Yeah. It's part of the earth, right? Yeah, but clearly not. Anyway. The, the burning bush, Moses. Mm. So true. He was just getting high as a kite. There we go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. When I was eight, I smashed all my school's windows at 3 a.m. using a school cricket bat. Now, here's what I'm thinking here. I don't know about you, but when I was in school, did yep. you have cricket bats in school, in primary school? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We, we yeah. had the little plastic ones. Well, exactly, that's balls. what I was about to say. They were yeah. plastic. Yeah. Now, was this person running around a primary school at eight years old, literally breaking windows with a plastic cricket bat with their little <laughs> eight-year-old strength? Yeah. I'm just impressed. I think I think if he's able to do that, then we need to just just crown him a superhero, let him get on with it, and he can be the window smasher. Exactly. That's that's his that's his title in life now. Yeah. Don't even. There's going to be Olympic sports soon. Did you have a be window smashing? Oh, I wish. That that sounds fun <laughs> as fuck. Did you did you have like a sport equipment shed? Um, yeah, we had a little look at one. It's like one with with those uh, big metal grates. Yeah, that everything was just inside there. Yeah, and did the uh, was there like students from the school that were in charge of letting you take out the the, the sports equipment? Yeah, it was only grade six kids. Yeah, like, yeah, we had the same the thing, sign, right? Uh, uh, oh, um, something about ethical investing has just popped up. Uh, <laughs> it's called um, gambling. Uh, but I. I uh, I remember that when I got to become the sports shed person, that was pretty cool. Did you feel? Did you, did you go home and tell mom and dad? Yeah, and you could you could be like, yeah, come on, come hang out in the sports shed. I can shed. I can hook you up. Yeah. I can hook you up. What you you want need? that tennis ball? <laughs> you want? I a got you. Nah, nah, nah. You ain't getting no tennis ball. What's in it for uh, me? <laughs> you didn't kiss me last week. I wanted to kiss you. You didn't do it. Yeah, so I mean, no tennis ball for you. That's realistically what I was like as a kid. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, next one. Yeah. This person lied to their dad about going out with friends and instead mm -hmm. went to his second ex-wife's house to fuck. This is where the trend of uh, sex and family. So much fucking and family. Yeah. So, um, I don't yeah, there's go a, together, Toby. There's a lot of coming to go together. There's a lot of, uh, you know, fucking <laughs> and people that maybe you shouldn't be fucking. Uh, you know, happening in the in these this friends. You know, we don't need to talk about this. You know, second ex wife. At least, you know, at least it's not his current wife. You know, they've been. Yeah, you don't want to be gross and fuck your own wife. Now, here's the thing, though. Second ex wife. Does that mean, uh, it's the ex wife from two ex wives ago, or wait, wait, wait. does it mean it is the the second total ex wife, which could be the current wife? I just had a brain fart, and I okay. realized that this is this guy's kid. 
Yeah, yeah. Fucking his own. No, I no, no. This is not that. This is not the dad fucking the ex-wife. Because then you were like, oh, at least it's not his current wife. And I was like, yeah, why would you want to fuck your current wife being the dad? So, mm-hmm. yeah, no. Okay, this is... um. It, this is a, a bit more fucked up. But oh, it's, hey, power to him. Love it. <laughs> okay, this one says, fucked my misso next to my mate while he was eating out his missus. This is fine. You know, it's, I mean, it's like... We've all been there, It's like I think. super sex positive and open. I'm all about yeah, it. I've, I've but definitely then, been there. his dad walked in. Did he join in? Where's the next part of this yeah, story? Did th- this is the problem with all of these. This did, is a cliffhanger. This is like uh clickbait, you know? We're we're <laughs> reading all these things and I just wanna I just wanna read the, the rest of the novel. I I'm, wanna I wanna have them on. I wanna talk to them a bit more about it. Yeah. I find like certain ones that I found really interesting. Oh dude, see if you they know wanna what? actually talk about it. If if uh if this if this goes well and people like it, maybe that's what we do. Maybe we legit because we, we can be reply so to them in the DMs and be like, hey, I want to have you on, I want to know more about it. And even if they don't yeah. want to come on, we can just be like, Can you tell us more information? Yeah. Oh, give that. us give us a debrief. I that's love actually it. that's that's epic. But yeah, this is <laughs> fucking wild. Uh you know, this one's a little more tame than some of the other ones, but it's it's still crazy. Um, this one says, I never really had feelings for my ex, but they liked me, so I dated them, which is really kind of wholesome in a way, but also really sad. It's, okay, but the flip, I'm, I'm going to be like the antagonist here and say that's toxic as oh, it's, fuck. Oh, it is, it is 100% toxic as fuck. Um, it sounds like they're, they're kind of like, I don't want to basically myself leading with that them on. Here. Yeah, I, I've done similar things to this because I don't like hurting people. Uh, so but you end turn, up saving them short term and then hurt them longer. Like and it's, and it's the long term hurt is so much worse than the short term hurt. Oh, and then you just you're an overall complete wanker. Yeah. Like, psh, yeah. So don't do this. Don't do this. <laughs> Bad. Don't don't be Ben. Oh, more more family related stuff. <laughs> Fucked my previous girlfriend's mum and sister while we were still dating. Now I this is where I want to chime in and say. The, some of these could be complete and utter hey. fabrications, but yeah, we are going to assume that they aren't. You know, yeah. For the the benefit of the doubt, we are going to assume that these are true. Um, yeah. but I don't want to promise you that they are true. But if this is true, that this person genuinely fucked their previous girlfriend's mum and sister while they were still dating. Yeah, I don't think this person's ever going to be in a committed relationship. I think that he needs to fuck the grandma too and just oh. check off the whole family and tree. And maybe maybe fuck the dad for equality. You know? 2021. Yeah. Stop Let's being a, a fucking weird. homophobe, pussy. Yeah, as if you don't suck dick in 2021. Fuck you, you? <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Ting! All right, next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I slept with my teacher because I was failing his class. Ah. Classic. This is like Classic. a. This is like a. a this is a, It's almost a movie wholesome trope, at this point. You know. Yeah, I love it. You know, you get in the, you get in that D, so you need to fix that, so you get some D, and exactly. then you get the A. Exactly. <laughs> love it. Th- that was beautiful. What a what a poetic mind. Oh, right. Yeah, that was fantastic. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, another yeah. another one where I wish I could get more details, but still, it's fine. <laughs> You know, the, the main detail I want to know is what class was it? Was it woodwork? Because you were working exactly. as wood? Exactly. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to assume it was maths. Yeah, that's... Or English. I'm gonna, I feel like yeah, English teachers I, are uh, the kinds of people that would want to fuck students. That's true. My, uh, my, my English teacher um, got expelled or what's it, fired. That's the, the normal human version of that, right? Yeah, he got expelled from his job, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because he was sleeping with the U twelve students. English, dude. English. Yeah, English. I think Learn maybe it. it gets romanticized in novels or some shit. I don't fucking know. This yep. one. Oh, there's a lot. There. Okay, so I oh, I put this one in. Oh. I put this one in not because it's funny, but it's because uh, it's it, it's like an example of something that was very very abundant in the answers. So yep. many people were saying. I have feelings for my girl best friend or I have feelings for my guy best friend and all this stuff. Yeah. It just made me think like your, your best friend is supposed to be your partner, right? Or your partner yeah. is supposed to be your best friend. So like, why yeah. are all these people that have feelings for their best friends? Why is it not just happening? You know? 
Well, I mean, I know there's a lot more to it, but yeah, it's kind of the attraction part of it. Yeah, like that. But you, you completely right. Like you, the end goal is to end up spending your life with your best friend. Mm -hmm. Like, and and I mean, this person, I just, I hope it has a happy ending. I want to get updates. I want to know if maybe it's I like my girl best friend, but she's a girl as well, and she's not gay. Or like, if she has emotions, there there was a lot of that too. There was actually a huge amount of that. I have a yeah, crush on my straight common. guy friend. Yeah. 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 It's, a, it's a very common thing. I've had a lot of guys, you know, who are friends with me come out as gay and say they had feelings for me. But, you know, it's a conversation you need to have. Yeah, it Otherwise is definitely something. Because here's the thing. If you just bottle that up, there was one that said that I've, uh, I've had feelings for my best friend for six years or something. Oh, I was like, you bottle that up. Time. Eventually, that's going to come out, you know, and, and, or eventually it's just going to become too... <laughs> Too hard or something. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sick. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna come up like that. Yeah, it's gonna come like that. <laughs> I want to fuck you. I love you. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I mean, if it's been six years, she's probably not gonna fuck you. All right, next question. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> also, I think an advice one could be really fun. Yeah, um, absolutely. I'm the only guy in a house of six, and I want to fuck <laughs> all my housemates. I love this one. I think this is That's- just. Like, I say go for it, dude. Yeah, for one, how we're in you, we're in lockdown. How'd you end up in a situation where you live with five yeah. women? Love how it. How trustworthy do you look? Yeah, and then also, uh, you know, that maybe, they're all that attractive. Maybe you could have a five way, not a seven way. Oh, a six or way. A, I mean. a six way, six way. We'll we'll both have the side there. Yeah, maybe maybe uh, you could have a six way. Just get it out of the way, or I may, think may, maybe you could just bring up the conversation. Just be like, hey. You know, I want to fuck all of you. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Anyone Let, interested like, you know, who's down. And you know what? At the start, they'll probably all be like, uh, no. That's disgusting. But, but one by one, one, they're going to like hit him up. Yeah. And during, Especially lockdown, during lockdown, now is the time. Like, yeah. they're not getting it anywhere else. It's going to get to like, the point where they're, they're going to knock on the it. door and they'll be like, yeah. I was just wondering if I could. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize you were in there, Daphne. You're already oh. with there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Marcy. No, he's already with Daphne. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I got next. Yeah. Okay. Dibs. Yeah. You're going to have to have a form that you got to fill out a little timetable. <laughs> yeah. Might get messy. Maybe don't do it. That's right. If you if you change your preferences, like you'll, you'll do anal, you skip the list. You jump to the top. Oh, that's smart. So, you can just like put, you know, benefit. Incentivize. Uh, incentivize the fetishes. Yeah, which also exactly. there's a lot of uh, in these. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one's I. This one blew my mind. Um, this is all that matters. Who's that? <laughs> a Superman. Superman. Oh, Superman is Bruce Wayne. Superman is Bruce Wayne. Whoa, uh, next one. Paul, there. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt. Where were we? Were am I right? Uh, ben and I basically recorded this for about two hours and. Um, you know, obviously, I didn't want to release a two-hour video. That's not a video. That's a whole fucking podcast. That's a whole fucking feature film. Uh, so I figured, you know, I'll just release it out in chunks. And uh, if you guys want more of it, if you guys want the rest of the chunks, just let me know in the comments. Like and comment on it, and, you know, it'll tell me that you that you want more of these. Um, and, yeah, if you want more of these that are different, if you want me to do more of these Instagram question content thingies let me know because i you know i'm not enjoying gaming at the moment and uh, i would love to be able to make different stuff and if you guys are into it then that'll be that'll be sick make sure to check out forbesy his link for his twitch will be in the description he's super funny he streams a lot he streams a lot with me and remember that on september the 5th i have a birthday subathon happening on twitch so if you want to come and hang out during our subathon that is on september the 5th australian time i'll see you guys next time goodbye